Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Python series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make your first Python program. Okay, so you may see a screen similar to this one. Um, if you've already made a project within PyCharm before, then you'll already be in a project and you can just go to the top right and do file new project. But if you're on this screen, this is the screen that you have when you don't have a project open or when you first open PyCharm for the first time. So what we're gonna do is uh, click new project and then go to pure Python, so the default option. So what we're gonna do here is create our first Python project using PyCharm. Uh, PyCharm will automatically set up everything so that it uses the Python interpreter, sets up this virtual environment thing, which we don't really have to worry about at the moment. And then also, um, it could also optionally give you a, a, a welcome script. So it's like a template Python script that you can use. Um, but we don't really need that. We're going to start from scratch. And up here, the only thing really that you need to do is tell it where to put the project files. So what you want to do is find a spot safe on your computer where you want all of your Python projects to be. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go to my D drive, my daddy drive, and go to development. And within this folder, I already have a Python folder where I'm going to create all of my um, other Python projects and tutorials. But uh, for this video, I'm going to put mine here in tutorials. So you can choose wherever you want to put yours, as long as it's in a folder somewhere, it doesn't really matter, as long as you know where it is, it's perfectly fine. So uh, I'm going to create a new folder here, it's going to be called uh, uh, Hello World. There we go. So there we go, I've got a new folder called Hello World, so I'm going to select it and click OK. And now it's selected up here for the location. So any Python files or project files that is generated by uh, PyCharm here will be located in the Hello World folder, within the Tutorials folder, within the Development folder on the D drive. Pretty simple stuff. So you really don't need to touch any of this, but if this one's selected, go ahead and unselect it so that it doesn't create a default script for you. And then once you're done, click Create. And now it's going to create your new PyCharm Python project for you. Um, so just give it a second to load everything, and it should go by pretty quickly. So pretty good. So we're going to open this up here and we can see all of the files that were generated by PyCharm automatically. So the only thing we have here is really just this VENV -E folder, which is our environment files, but we don't have to worry about this, like I said, so you can just close it and ignore it. And so to create a new Python script, all you have to do is right click this, the folder, and do new Python file. And so you can call your Python file anything. So we're going to call ours hello underscore world. There we go. So what that is going to do is behind the scenes, it's going to create a new file for us and it's going to be extended by .py, which, which is a, uh, a way of marking a file as a Python file. So any Python file that you ever want to execute needs to be ended by .py so that it's runnable, okay? So anyway, inside of here, this is the main editor, you can create your code. Now the first program that we create is actually going to be a bit of a tradition. It's tradition in programming for when you're learning a new programming language. The first program that you create is going to be something that outputs hello world to the console. So the output. So just follow along. So we're going to do print. And then within the parentheses here, you're going to press double quotes. And it's automatically uh, going to put a closing quotes for you. So PyCharm is doing that for you. And inside of these quotes here, you're going to put a message that you want to be outputted by the program. So we're going to say hello world and you do the same thing. So now when we run this program, it should output hello world into uh, our terminal or our console, um, wherever you're running the program, okay? So let's go ahead and see that firsthand. So there's different ways you can run a Python program. You can either have PyCharm run it automatically for you by clicking the run button up here after you configure it, or you can run it in the terminal. Now to run this file using PyCharm, all you have to do is, well, there's two options. You can either add a configuration up here, add the file to it, and do all that, but it's a little tricky, especially for beginners. So the easiest thing you can do as a beginner is just go to the file that you want to run, right-click it, and go down here to run main. So what that is going to do is run the file uh, using the Python interpreter and put the output of the program here. And there we go, look at this. So we got our hello world outputted into what's called the console down here. So anytime you print anything, it's going to go essentially down here and be outputted here so that you can see it visually if you were to run it within PyCharm. If you were to run it within a terminal, which I'll show you next episode, it'll be outputted into wherever you're running it, like, you know, the terminal screen or um, something like that. But yeah, one of the many benefits of using an IDE like PyCharm is that you can run it directly within the IDE 
without having to have another window open to run the file and all that. And it automatically saves it for you. You don't need to do control S or anything like that. There's many, many uh, benefits. So when we ran this file here using this uh, thing that I just showed you, it automatically added a run configuration up here so that we didn't have to add it ourselves. So you can see it added all this information here like the interpreter, the path for the script, where to find it and all that. And you, don't, you didn't have to fill that in yourself. That's really cool. But more importantly, now that you did that, you can use this run button up here anytime you want to run the program. So anytime we make any changes, um, let's say that we want to do print, hello, my name is Cody Simpson. If we do that, um, we don't have to go here and right click it and run it again. We can if we want to, but you can just go up here now and click the play button and it'll run it for you. And now right away you see the output down here. So it says, hello world, hello, my name is Cody Simpson. Awesome. So that's how you can run your Python scripts using PyCharm. So you don't really have to worry about this right now. You're gonna learn a lot about you know stuff like this in the future. But for now, this is called a function. This is called the print function. So you're calling it, you're passing in what's called an argument. So in this case, it's a message into the function. And the function has a bunch of code within it that takes this message and then outputs it to the console as we saw. So essentially a function is just a chunk of code with a name associated with it. You don't have to really worry about that right now. It's gonna be a little bit overwhelming, all the terminology we're gonna be using and stuff like that. But as you become more and more experienced, as you practice more and more, you're gonna to start to understand it and it won't be as scary if it's your first time learning a programming language. So let's keep going. There's a, just a couple more things I wanna show you before we end this episode. So besides printing out messages or what are called strings, as we'll see later, um, you can also output other stuff like numbers. So we can print out 69 if we want to, and then we run this and it'll say, hello world, hello, my name is Cody Simpson, and then 69, pretty cool. You can also do basic arithmetic if you want to and output it. So if you wanna do 23 times three, that'll output 69. So the way it works is essentially the Python interpreter, it'll go to this line after it's done running these three lines and it'll say, first it needs to evaluate this arithmetic here, so it'll do 23 times 3, 69, and then put the result of 69 into the print function as what's called an argument, as I told you before, and then it'll output that to the console using you know, the behind the scenes magic of the print function, okay? So let's go ahead and run this, and now we get 69 again because we're out technically outputting it twice, even though this one's actually doing some math and then printing it out, all right? So yeah, that's basic. Um, that's the most basic program you can make pretty much, just outputting stuff to the console using Python. And uh, hopefully this was a fun experience to make your first, very first program. So, um, you know, see what else you can do so far. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to um, run your programs instead of with PyCharm with a terminal. So you can use the Python interpreter directly within a terminal. So we'll see how to do that in case you want to know how to do that. And then after that, we'll start getting into the the bread and butter of Python programming and starting off with variables, which are which is very exciting, you'll see. So stay tuned, hopefully this was very informative for you guys. If you have any feedback or questions, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so that's it for this video, thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out, you can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just wanna review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers, so you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can, get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, if you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I wanna tell you is that if you wanna support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members. And also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.